Well, there's nothing like coming home from a long day's work to find your Enchanted Crystal subscription box on the front porch. Yay! Let's unbox this. All right, for those of you that might be new here, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony Hunt, and we usually do videos about healing crystals and art supplies. Before I get to unboxing this funness, I have a sneak peek for you. This is my newest crystal grid. Um, I wanted to do something a little Celtic for St. Patty's Day. And isn't this just beautiful? So this one, I tried to make like an olive gold because my last one was a green. But um, it looks pretty green to the eye, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to have this up on my store, at least by this weekend, so you can order them for St. Patty's Day. Let's get into this box. Enchanted Crystal is a monthly subscription box. I will have their information down below if you would like to get your own box. The curator is Adam and he has an Enchanted Crystal team. I'll go ahead and read this to myself later. Now I get the big variety box, which comes with its own crystal grid. And that is pretty. That is a nice, pretty purple grid. I like purple grids. It matches my other motif where all my crystals are stored. It's very nice. And like I said before, I am impressed because I've never seen the same design crystal grid. And I've been a subscribing mem member for, I think, maybe three years. So that's very impressive. They always do something different. Okay, so no matter what subscription you get, you get a bonus pack. These are usually perfect sizes to make crystal grids out of. So this... This month we get yellow hematoid quartz, Madagascar quartz, and black tourmaline. This one was a little more difficult. I tried to put them in their own little piles. Let's start with this. It said it was yellow hematoid quartz, and you can see most of them are yellow. Some still do have a little orange in them. Well, hematoid quartz is a mixture of hematite and quartz, which is really good if you like to work with hematite because the quartz just amps it up a little bit. But this is really good if you have anemia. But it's a strange color, or the orangey-yellow color, because hematite has iron in it. So this is like a rusty color that you're going to see come out in the quartz. And uh, this over here is going to be our black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is an excellent grounding stone. I have my bedroom gridded out in tourmaline to protect me from bad vibes. And this is a Madagascar quartz. Quartz is good as a, it's a staple stone if you need to substitute a stone in a crystal grid. You can always use clear quartz. It'll work. So, and I like to use them as center points in my grids. Right. We're going to start off with this Durango calcite. And that is what she looks like. Now, calcite, we can usually identify it just by feeling it because it has that strange waxy feeling on the outside of it. This one does a little bit, but not so much as if I was holding a piece of yellow or blue calcite. It doesn't, ha it doesn't quite have that neat feel to it. But I'm not sure what the Durango, or that must be where it's from, Durango calcite. It's a very nice, clear piece of calcite. All right, we have Mexican Rhodiochrosite, rare. You know, I think I manifested to get this because I needed a piece of this for a crystal kit. Was it for immune system, maybe? I don't know, but I know I needed one the other day and I didn't have any of it. Okay, so there is what we're looking at. And like I said, I thought it was a little pinker, so I think that's what we're looking at right here. The rhodiochrosite is more of a pinkish red, so I think that's what this is. Right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hematite Phantom Quartz. Well, well, well. 
A phantom quartz is usually is got some kind of clear quartz to it so you can see through it but you can see phantoms of like growth stages of the crystal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of course we just talked about hematoid quartz having this orange cast and that's from the iron and let me uh let me grab something random here to see if i can get you to see that phantom you can see it right in here. So looking clear up towards the, the point, and you can see the it's it's very nice and pronounced red. I think you can get it just a little bit. I mean, in real in real life, you can see it plain as day. But I know it's hard to capture some things in my camera. And I do not have a phantom hema, hematoid or hematite quartz, so that is very special. I like hematite very much so that is a cherished piece for sure we have sonoran turquoise well 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 real turquoise it's actually not that easy to get your hands on. Most of turquoise that you see in jewelry it's howlite that's been dyed a real turquoise, you're going to see like a silverish going through it. And it's really expensive because it's kind of rare. So unless your turquoise piece of jewelry costs hundreds upon hundreds of dollars, it's probably just dyed howlite. Ah, yes. The classic turquoise color. And this isn't polished. This is a raw piece. But you can see that if you polish this guy up, there'd be these little veins going through it and you can see those veins in there so if this was polished up you'd be able to see them now they look a little more brown in this and which makes sense because i think they can be made of copper i've heard of like a pyrite i've seen them silver so i think maybe the veining through turquoise can be many different colors but i'm sure somebody knows more about that down below maybe somebody that works with jewelry i this is actually one of my first pieces of real turquoise because i know it's hard and expensive to get your hands on so uh, that is nice next up madagascar laterite quartz all right to be honest i've never heard of laterite quartz but this is a very nice looking piece there's a very interesting can i focus on it probably not there's a very interesting like fractured formation down there maybe can you see it from there so I don't know if that has something to do with the laterite, which I, I don't think it does. But it is a really neat feature about this particular piece of quartz, that's for sure. Now, I noticed that it's got some black and some rusty looking stuff, which is more what I would assume the laterite has to do with it. It's probably a iron-based thing. Oh, there, there's a lot of, oops, there's a lot of iron in this box, I've noticed. So that might have something to do with it. I'm going to say... The rusty darkness to the bottom has something to do with the laterite and not that cool fractured formation in there. But that makes this piece special, doesn't it? And it's very interesting to look at. Last one. Yellow Jade Tower. I have a jade face roller to take away my wrinkles. But I don't have a whole lot of jades. This is a very nice box. That's very pretty. It's it's almost a cream color. And I know my light is just beaming down on this and making it strange. But it's like a light cream colored. It looks like a vanilla pudding pop. So you think jade, you think of green right away. Well, this isn't. This is a nice cream colored. I don't work with jade enough to be able to give you any kind of insight of what this would do for you. But that's going to be fun learning and figuring out what this can do. Which maybe an, an upcoming box will get it again and I will have more to tell you. 
You can always tell a good one because it has a really nice feel in the hand. Like you can just you feel. You can feel all the nice vibrations coming from them. Well, I think this is a very nice box. I know the pieces are a little small, but it's not so much how large the crystal is, but there are some really neat pieces in here. This one is a surprise. This I'm really going to like this one. This is really cool to look at, and I can actually feel that this is going to be one I want to meditate with right off the bat. Because I, There's something about this one, and this is very awesome. I love towers, so no matter what, if we get a tower, it doesn't matter what it's made of, I love it, right? I have a problem. I collect them. Well, thank you for joining me today in this nice unboxing. And if you're interested in the Her Huntress Crystal Grid for St. Patty's Day, I will have that on my Etsy store this weekend. I will link that down below in case you're interested. I also have a little coupon, a little 15% off down there. And yeah, I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye!